here's a uh, rundown of the uh, voltage controlled filter module. Um, this is again based on a Look Mum No Computer uh, article and schematics um, based around the uh, Korg MS20 um, filter approach which uses a fairly mystical uh, um, chip known as the, the Korg 35 chip. Um, not sure how accurate it is, I don't, don't profess to be an expert on this, but uh, there's a couple of articles that I've posted on my website which link to it, which describe it in a bit more detail. Um, in essence, it's a fairly simple um, low-pass filter with cutoff frequency control and resonance, and the uh, cutoff frequency can be modulated via CV input, so audio in, audio out, and uh, control input from cut off uh, to sorry control input from from cv to control the cutoff filter uh, typically attached to a i don't know an lfo or a uh, or an envelope generator um the uh, the led is quite good fun they uh, they serve two purposes um, obviously as a diode but also they give a little bit of uh, um, visual indication as to what's going on so the higher you crank up the resonance the the brighter the leds sort of flicker uh, so that's quite neat <coughs> Um, again, standard Eurorack format. This is an H, uh, 8HP um, panel. Uh, the, uh, f the fascia is courtesy of uh, Beavertown's Lupaloid beer. Um, several of that was being drunk whilst making this. Um, and then on the back, uh, where the, uh, the business end is, um, essentially two key ICs on this one. So the uh, LM13700 uh, uh, trans conductance op amp um, and a regular uh, TL74 op amp uh, and a couple of uh, transistors there to con to to manage some of the um, the feedback loop for the for the resonance um, in essence the uh, LM13700 is doing most of the work that's what's allowing the um, cutter frequency to be modulated and controlled by the CV output the regular op amp is just simply buffering the input from the uh, CV and also buffering the output so that there's no loss in signal as it passes through the the module um, again it's a standard euro rack format so plus minus 12 volts um, I don't think there's any logic 5 volt level on this uh, everything quite comfortably runs off the uh, of the plus minus 12 volts um, but yeah apart from that that's kind of it really uh, quite a a messy circuit to design in terms of its uh, it's based around variable so lots of breaks uh, in the variable to make it up I managed to somehow cram it in um, and it works ultimately which is the main thing uh, so yeah that's it really um, I'll uh, I'll plug that into the uh, into the rack in a second um, and I might just sort of show what that looks like on the oscilloscope as well because I think that sort of visually as well as audibly makes the filter come alive Okay, so we've got the uh, VCF plugged into the rack now, and uh, effectively just got a fairly simple signal chain. So square, uh, sorry, sawtooth wave coming out, going into the filter, and then the output of the filter is uh, then just going into the audio interface so that we can capture it. Uh, no control voltage at this moment in time. If I can turn that down, and if I just increase the volume a bit, you should be able to hear the waveform. And uh, if you look on the oscilloscope, what you can see is a sort of fairly soft uh, waveform. It's, a, it's a, 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 a sawtooth wave, but the filter at the moment is down at the lowest level. So, uh, and I've got also got the resonance down at the lowest level as well. So if I gradually increase the cutoff frequency, then what you should be able to hear and see uh, is on the oscilloscope, the uh, the, the, the waveform will get a lot more pronounced and turn back into a much more traditional sawtooth wave and uh, audibly you should be able to hear the sound get a lot brighter as well so if I just increase that you can start to see and hear the filter working so that's the filter fully open start to look at the resonance side of things now. Um, resonance is down to 
zero, so there is no essentially there's no feedback. Uh, if we start to increase that, then what you should hear is the sound will get a little bit more kind of distorted and tingly. And what you also start to see on the oscilloscope is the uh, appearance of harmonics within the waveform. turn the cutoff frequency down you should be able to hear that sort of fairly uh, typical kind of filter screeching sound. So again that's the cutter filter uh, frequency down. Again, like everything else, it's sort of this all very well twiddling the knobs and stuff, uh, doesn't really do a huge amount, um, apart from make the sound nicer or less nicer. Uh, where it really starts to come into its own is when we start looping that up uh, with the control voltage. So uh, we've got the envelope generator set up as per the last video, and at the moment that's just connected up so that there's a gate input from uh, my beat step controller. If I connect the output of the envelope into the CV and turn that CV up and then play a note, you hear the filter cutoff frequency start to rise and fall based upon the envelope there. So if I turn that all the way down, then effectively that means that there won't be anything coming through the filter whilst the envelope is, is, is at zero volts, which, is, it, which it is at the moment. So if I hit, hit a button now, you can start to see that filter open and close, and that's indicated by the envelope LED there. So if I start to bring up the resonance, you should start to hear that sort of traditional acid -y sort of sound. So if we, if we actually increase, so what we do with this is the, this is essentially setting the, the, the minimum uh, cutter frequency down to zero and the maximum um, based upon the CV input, which is quite abrupt. If we turn the cutter frequency up a bit, it doesn't completely close the filter down. And likewise, if we reduce the control voltage input there, uh, it won't completely open the filter up. And then again, as you saw in the last video with the uh, the envelope generator, if I take the release off, it becomes a lot more snappy. Whereas if I turn the release up, fill to the uh, the envelope open, the envelope stays open longer, and therefore the effect it has on the filter opening and closing is the same. And that's it really from the uh, from the filter. Um, that's sort of fairly typical configuration where you um, influence the filter based upon a, an envelope generator, but it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, that way. Um, what we can do just to give you a little bit of a taster is if we take it out of the envelope generator and we put it into the uh, output of the LFO, which I'll cover on a separate video. So turn that rate down a little bit. Then you should see the, or hear the filter start to throb as the LFO oscillates that's fairly low rate if I increase the rate there again it just shows the sort of the, the fairly infinite uh, configuration kind of properties of a modular synth you can basically take any module and uh, and use it to use its output to modulate any other part so you can get some really interesting sounds or you can get some really simple stuff so with that, I shall wrap up this particular uh, episode and uh, I'll uh, start to prepare for the next one.